Welcome to my rant about the biggest misconceptions about computer science degrees. All right, I know I was ranting and raving about having like a five week upload streak and then I don't upload for a month and then I come back wearing orange. I didn't go to jail or nothing like that. So don't, now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna to try to run a streak again. So let's, let's see what we can do this time, all right? But I wanna talk about the biggest misconceptions about computer science degrees and like I said, this is more of a rant than anything else. And I would and I would love everyone's take in, in the comments section on your thoughts when it comes to computer science degrees. So first and foremost, the biggest misconception about computer science degrees is that you're gonna be strictly learning applicable knowledge. You're gonna be going in, you're going to learn how to build websites or mobile apps or machine learning models or whatever it may be, but that's not it. That's not it at all. Computer science isn't about programming. It's about math and theory and algorithms and computational problems and design of the computer from the hardware to the software to the applications. And only and only using programming languages as a tool to implement what you learn. Don't get me wrong. You do a fair amount of programming in CS. In your computer science degree, you're going to do a fair amount of programming. I had plenty of programming courses, whether they were the elective courses or just your regular coursework, learning Java, learning C++. I took one course where I learned three different languages, Prolog, SML and J, whatever the heck that is, and then Pavre. But all of that is just to implement the theory, the math, everything that you're learning of the broad spectrum of computer science, you're using programming as a tool to implement that. Even in the in the course where I learned those three languages I just talked about, that was to simply kind of kind of prove your skills or, or learn a way to take your programming knowledge and implement the theory and 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 translate one syntax to another language and be able to understand the syntax of another language once you already know Java or C++ or, or whatever it may be of another language. Basically what I'm saying is yes, you do a fair amount of programming as a CS student, but more as a byproduct of implementing what you learned using code. It's kind of like if you went to like, like film school, for example, learning how to use the camera is not gonna make you a good filmmaker. But if you learn about the theory of film and story and cinematics, then you will learn how to use that camera as a byproduct of implementing those things. Maybe that's not a very relatable analogy. Another one could be, I'm building a boat right now. I bought a jigsaw because I had to cut out the stringers from a boat. If you don't know what that means, it doesn't matter. I'm using a tool to fulfill a job, right? Well, I don't learn how to build that boat by learning how to use a jigsaw. I learn how to use a jigsaw by building the boat. And if you could take that mindset into learning how to code and learning CS, you'll be much better off. Just understand the coding basics and learn as you build. Now this is really where the discussion happens because when it comes to computer science, you have you have the veteran professors who, how are you going to teach someone knowledge that they're gonna take in the, with, with the next 40 years and how are you gonna teach them knowledge and try to maintain a curriculum of something that is ever changing? Because as you know, computer science, software development, languages, frameworks, everything that you use is ever changing. However, in order to maintain a basic level of knowledge, what is the best way to prepare someone for this ever-changing technology? And that is to teach them the core principles, the theory, the math, the algorithms, things that don't change. I mean, I guess algorithms, you get better algorithms, but let's forget that. Everything else I said before that, that type of stuff doesn't change like new frameworks and things like that. Maybe a little bit here and there, right? But those typically, the core principles, those stay the same. So the professors in, in school curriculums are trying to say, you need to learn these core principles, take this programming languages, C, C++, Java, Python, whatever it may be, and implement these in whatever, whatever project you're working on for my class, right? However, if you were like me at all, going into computer science, I thought I was gonna be able to come out and build whatever website I wanted, whatever, mobile application I wanted, basically anything I wanted to an extent, you know, it's just bachelor's degree in computer science and it's just me, I ain't that smart. So just like, I thought I was gonna be able to, to do at least that, I guess in a way I was, I guess, but that is also because I worked on a lot and a lot of side projects. In theory, in theory, shouldn't you going to four years of computer science, of college, teach you 
a lot of that stuff without you ha needing needing to work on those side projects. Don't get me wrong, those side projects are really fun. However, they shouldn't be mandatory because if I didn't just discover if I if I didn't like mess around with WAMP and WordPress and just regular HTML and CSS other than my single elect uh, what is it called? elective that I took which was a web development course I would have no idea how to do any of it plus I would have kind of, I was kind of going into the deep end when it came to that course if I didn't have any prior experience of the projects I worked on on my own but that is kind of where we are do we change computer science as a whole in, in terms of what you learn at college or in high school to be more applied knowledge or do we maintain what you have right now and you learn the core principles and you expand your knowledge using those core principles that's what i'm asking you in this video so leave your feedback down below because i am incredibly interested in this topic and i would love to see like what type of learning do you like and and what would you prefer and what do you think for the masses if you could just go in and change all computer science curriculums in every single university across the world what would you do and, and this uh, i was debating talking about this <laughs> but since i'm ranting I, I'm, I'm strategically ranting but i'm still ranting um i'm going to address it anyway and that is there's this really big misconception going around when it comes to computer science and saying that you don't need to be or no that you need to be good at math as a computer science student but i'm here to tell you that computer science is mostly math eh. uh, yeah no i would say mostly math so the concept of you have to be good at math as a computer science student that is often called a misconception is actually true you do have to be good at math or, or rather you have to have the ability to progress in math. As a computer science student, you'll be required to do linear algebra, statistics, two to three years of calculus, discrete math, and a lot of what you do will be built upon what you learned in algebra and geometry in high school, and an incredible amount of, of math-related computer science courses. So you see, math is incredibly important when it comes to computer science. I'm not saying you're gonna be doing this all the time in your job. If you go be a full stack developer, you may not do any math. There are plenty of jobs where you don't do any math, right? However, when it comes to the computer science degree, if you are no good at math and you have no desire to learn and you don't think you have the ability to learn, then you're not gonna be able to accomplish what you need to accomplish within that computer science degree given everything I just told you and all the courses you'll need to take. Also, if you wanna get into the whole, whole Anything that is heavy with algorithms, whether that be machine learning or data science, which I guess that's partially synonymous, or something like computer graphics, game design, game development, whatever whatever proper term there is with the, where you have to work with physics and stuff like that. I don't make games. I don't know, except for Tetris and stuff. But you see what I'm saying. Then you're going to be using math. You're going to be using a lot of different types of math. So in other words, you you need to learn math. You need to learn math for your computer science degree and you need to learn math if you want to go into any of those or the like jobs and i'm and i'm sorry i mean i just i just feel like everyone who who says you don't need to be good at math or you're not going to be doing much math this or that is just giving people false hope and it's bothering me and and <laughs> before before i get in trouble i i have not seen any other youtubers uh, uh saying this so don't don't think this is a dig at any of your favorite youtubers if someone did indeed say this recently but i just i've just happened to read one too many cs related articles that says this in it that you don't need math and um that's what made me rant so just do your math damn it do your math 